Joke number one. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just get into it. Just, don't waste time. Straight into it. Ah, oh, welcome to the show. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. How are you guys doing? Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming out. So good to see you here. Ah, oh, it's been a wonderful journey. It's our last tour of South Africa for a while. Before I leave, go to America. I'm gonna go for two weeks, and then when I come back, I'm gonna be talking like this. I don't know why people do that. You know what the worst thing is? Is you talking like that? That's the worst thing. Ah, oh, it's been so much fun, man, traveling around South Africa, you know, trying to write new material for a new show. It's always difficult. The easiest stuff to write, I find, is political stuff in South Africa. It's too easy now. It's become, you know, like you, you give comedians credit. You go, oh, he's so funny. He's a, but we're not, we're not, we're not geniuses. We really aren't. Like the guys, the guys in, in power, they do it all for us now. It's actually, they're actually taking our jobs. It's not cool. It's not cool. Because soon you guys are going to figure it out and you're going to stop coming to the show and you're going to start going to press conferences and you're not going to... Then you'll be like, oh, where are you guys going? On Friday? Oh, I'm going to the Zuma press conference, eh? Oh, bro, like, yeah, that guy is just he's my favorite, eh? You'll be like, can you sign my DVD? Can you sign my shirt? Sign my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. I'm glad. I'm glad the rain stopped for a little bit. It's been heavy, you know? Roads have been flooded and there's been lightning and thunder and, you know, it's been crazy. These storms are, are everywhere. I, I find myself laughing these days when lightning strikes, you know, especially when it's those big ones where you feel like it hit like the next road or something. Because every time I, I, I see lightning, I think of the MEC of the Northwest, <laughs> MEC of Safety and Security. True genius, true comedic genius. Like we all have our mentors and you know, I look up to guys like him. No, no, because he came out, he came out after, what, uh, what happened was, there was a funeral on the weekend and what happened was there was a lightning storm and lightning struck the people at the funeral and nine people were killed instantly. There's nothing funny about that. Nine people dead, Pfft, gone. Nothing funny at all, I, although it must have been a bit weird because like, you know, you're there because someone has died. <laughs> And then, then this, then, boom, then, grr, and then, then it's a bit awkward now. You don't know if you carry on here or do you, you know, but it's a bit, you don't know. And then you're like, do you put them, do you put them in? Cause there's like, cause you know, there's, there's going to be like one uncle who's like, no, there's space, put him. You want, I must buy another box. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Just, it's just like, you know what I mean? And if you've got like one of those possessive mothers, you know those mothers that love their kids, probably then she's crying and, and then everyone's like and then they're dead and then they're like, oh, then she's like, don't you dare, don't you cry for them, you don't cry for them. You came here for this, you came here, you, you save your tears and you cry where they, you, hey, hey, they freshly dead, you can cry for them next week, you don't, you, you bring those tears here. <laughs> but there's nothing funny about it and, um, and so what happened is on the Monday after the funeral, the MEC came out and he held, a, he held a press conference. And he was there and the journalists had all gathered and it was very serious. And he came out there and the photographers and everyone was there and he said, he said, we, we have had what have happened <laughs> on that funeral. Let it be known that we will launch a probe and we will not rest until we know where does this lightning come from? Not rest. His assistant was probably like, up, up. He was like, eh, we are, we want to know. Where does it come from? <laughs> I didn't even make the joke. He just said this. I just repeated it to you. It's like, <laughs> you see. And now it's election time, which means politicians are out in full force, kissing babies. Helen says that's dancing again and speaking Kosa. <laughs> you know, you know it's election time, you know? ANC comes out with a huge campaign. If you are not happy about service delivery, then you must vote for change. I'm like, but you guys are the ones. <laughs> yeah, but you must, will change. <laughs> You're like, so what, must we vote for someone? No, don't vote for someone else, just keep it here, keep it here. Yeah, keep it here. 
That's keep it here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bring it back. Keep it here. Keep it here. Yeah, bring it here. No, we'll change. We'll change. Just keep it here. Keep it here. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep it. You got the DA chasing after them. I mean, I like the fact that the DA is the official opposition, but like, they can't point out everything. Like, after a while, it just gets, it just gets boring, you know? DA doesn't tell us what they're gonna do. They're running around telling us everything the ANC is not doing. Look at him! Look at, do you want a president who doesn't tie his shoelaces? Look at that! <laughs> it's just shoelace, but still. <laughs> it's become ridiculous. They chased after the ANC and exposed them with the whole Gupta thing. Did you see that story? The Guptas one of the most famous families who apparently own the whole of South Africa. Like, they just own everything, including the Zuma family. <laughs> and basically what came out was they said, they said, yes, this family runs the Zumas. They run them. In fact, when President Zuma became President Zuma, they summoned him, the Guptas summoned him to their residential abode and they paraded him in front of their friends and family. Paraded him. This is what the DA said, parade. I think they're pushing it, like it wasn't paraded. It wasn't summoned, he was probably invited. It wasn't summoned, you know? It, was so, it wasn't paraded, because when they say paraded, like I'm sure he was there, meet and greet, ah, oh, new president, we rich, you president, how you doing, how you doing, yes, some money. It's a cool, you know, we understand, but it wasn't like paraded. Because when you think of paraded, it makes it seem like that Indian family was sitting there, the whole Gupta, there they were, and they were like, everybody sit down, he's coming, he's coming. <laughs> sit down, sit down, sit down, party, sit down, sit down. We got, we got a Zulu man, he's coming. Yeah, he's coming. Yes, he'll do the dance, he'll do the dance. Sit there, sit there. Have you got your popcorn? You got your popcorn. Okay, everyone got him. Turn, dim the lights. He's, he's coming. Dim the lights, dim the lights, dim the lights. He's at the door. Start the music. Jacob Zuma. It wasn't paraded. He was invited. <laughs> and the DA said, we need to investigate these claims. We need to investigate them. We said, would you, would you? They said, we'd love to investigate. We will get the best investigators we can. And they did. The DA went out and got the best investigators they could find. Investigators so good, they found that the Guptas had also given the DA money. <laughs> oh, priceless. Hey there, thanks for watching. Now, all I need you to do is click on that little circle on your screen. Yeah, yeah, that, that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, just like that. Hold on, hold on.